Okay guys, here's a real quick video of the uh, Shockwave model of the Shockwave uh, SFX7 sound module from uh, Model Sounds Incorporated in Canada. I really love these things. I've got it rough installed in this FMS 1700mm uh, P51 Mustang that I've been working on and it's set up pretty straightforward just like David recommends here. I got two of his RS10 4 inch speakers uh, 4 ohms each that are wired in series for an 8 ohm uh, impedance mounted in the nose and in the rear in plywood speaker boxes. I don't have the screens made for them yet. I'm waiting for that material to show up uh, probably here in about a week and then I'll have the screens on the bottom of them like on my other ones. The mo module, as you can see here, let's see if we can get in here a little closer. The actual module is mounted right here through the screws on nylon spacer washers to keep anything from grounding out and it's actually tapped off of my 6S power supply here, which is actually the main power supply. Draws about 3 amps tops when it's running full, so I'm not worrying about running an extra battery or losing any uh, additional flight time on this. It's probably in a, in a matter of seconds is all we're really talking about here. But I wanted to show something on the sound set files and a few of the features on here, uh, as opposed to some of the other units. I've experimented and played with all of them. Mendini, uh, Mr. RC Sounds, and they all have their qualities and uh, caveats as, as well. But I found one here that I want to kind of point out. I'm trying to work with David on this to see if we can get it maybe refined a little bit. But this is the P51 sound set and these are loaded on SD cards. And I'll let you so, so hear what it sounds like with two four inch speakers. So let me plug it in here and get it on. Radio on. Set that right up there for the moment. Power this bad boy up. Waiting for the card to initialize. Cards initialize. ESCs initialize. Throttles off. Now I have both gun sounds on this sort of on a switch up here, a two position switch, then I can activate the gun sound. So I'll do that first. Guns. Same guns. If I added another uh, male male servo lead over here to another channel, I would actually have two different gun sounds and rocket sounds. He all has the capability for that. Now let's do the throttle up and this is one of the areas that uh, I'm just a little concerned with as far as the quality of the sound file. Uh, I don't think it's anything that can't be fixed here though, it's real easy. percent, 70 percent on the throttle where it transitions from that idle and that slow ramp up in RPM to like an in-flight status. It sounds like a, a, a complete different file change and trying to work on a way to maybe blend that so that there's a transition uh, you, and you don't hear it quite so obviously and dramatically. I played around with a few of the other sound files since this can be changed just by changing out the SD card and it's not prevalent on the F190, the ME109 or either one of the two Spitfire files. It always seems to be really present on the Mustang P47, P40 Warhawk, and I think there was a few others there. But we'll play that again, and when you watch me pour my finger, that's when you can hear it. Of course, you can hear it on the file right away. You'll hear the sound change, the drastic change in tone. It almost sounds like a different sound file completely. <laughs>
so it's just running a dry load. But the amplifier is even barely warm. Of course, this is not a long run up to full length flight, but I can check the amps in here, and they're not even they're not even warm. Period for that run up. But there it is. I'll let you see it from the bottom. SD card, reinitialize the airplane, and put, I have a Spitfire sound loaded on an option on a different SD card. So, let's do that real quick here. I'm going to disconnect power to the airplane. Simply pop out the SD card that had the P-51 sound. With Dave's instructions, I've already preloaded a Another SD card with the, I believe this is the Spitfire Griff with the Griffin motor. There's a Spitfire Merlin and the Spitfire Griffin. I think this is the one with the Griffin. Reinitializing. We have steady lights, initialized airplane. Now then, let's sound what it sounds like with the P with the Spitfire sound on it. transition from dead idle all the way to watt or top end on it there's a smooth transition in sound that you don't hear a drastic change in the flight characteristics or the pitch change on the um, sound this is what this is also on the I've experimented with the ME uh, 109 sound or the BF 109 and the Falk Wolf 190 and they're the same way they sound really good from top all the way through throttle range it's just the ones that I stated earlier but there seems to be at like 55-60% a real drastic change in the throttle pitch and, and the airplane flying. Now granted this is probably in the air when this is happening, but nevertheless I feel that no matter what, your sound should sound the same all the way through, be it on the ground or whatever. shouldn't be quite so uh, obvious. And sure, it's something real easy to fix here with just maybe some manipulation on the file and what have you. But there, uh, but there it is. There's what it sounds like and how easy it was for me to change out sounds. And if I had a few more SD cards, like I said, here to load them, each one with a different sound, and in a matter of seconds, I can just change the ESD card, reinitialize it, and the airplane becomes a completely sound-wise different airplane at the change of an SD card without having to reflash or hook to your computer or anything else, which is what you have to do when you use a Mendini system in order to change the sound. So, nice attractive feature, lots of little functions on here, and I'm not even using a tenth of what this thing can do. I simply have a sound plugged into it and the motor sound, but this thing does a whole lot more. Uh, looking forward to seeing that changed here. I know, I've, David, I've been talking with you, but and if you definitely heard from that first run-up on the P-51, that big change in the sound there, if we can probably, if there's a way to blend that, where it transitioned, one of them fades out as the other one fades in and have them overlapped, that would probably sound a lot uh, improved in far, as far as that sound set goes and the few others that have that same uh, uh, caveat quality to them there where they just instantly change once you reach a certain throttle position 
on the transmitter or, or from your ESC and your transmitter or whatever where it changes from one sound completely to a different sound file even if it's the same airplane type that it's not quite so obvious so that would be my thing along that maybe we could uh, take one and overlay them and have one of them fade out as the other one fades in but there's no change in volume or pitch and you hear just smooth transition as they overlay type situation that's almost kind of evident I noticed it on I believe it's the ME109 that kind of had that and this and one of the Spitfires I think it was the Spitfire Merlin that had that where you could hear the transition but they were smoothed out almost like they were overlapped equally together and it transitioned out because the sound file looks good it's that rapid change to it that uh, I don't find very appealing uh, it kind of seemed to me it, t it takes away from the whole ex the sound experience of the airplane and puts a f kind of a, a false fake quality to it type situation but other than it sounds good again this is straightforward two RS10 speakers from Model Sounds his sound unit <coughs> his cables the only thing I did was run a speaker cable to them and I mounted them in plywood boxes in the airplane this time as opposed to the raw foam but to his RS10s and uh, his unit there so we'll see how that goes and look forward to seeing you